Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this uh, session in uh, training in vaccine acceptance. Uh, we have a, an overview of the vaccine acceptance and vaccine hesitancy and the strategy uh, to have. And uh, we also uh, find that uh, it's very an, an important way to have a, a training in vaccine acceptance for healthcare workers. And so I want just to share with you some reflection about what which be, would be the content contained on the vaccine acceptance. And there is lots of uh, experience now to vaccine acceptance for healthcare workers. Uh, for example, for, from the Canadian Pediatric Society and for the ECDC, also SAD contribute to, uh, <coughs> to, to build a, a guide for clinicians. So it's a, an important way to, to address the vaccine uptake, the vaccine demand, to have a, a training for, for frontliners or healthcare workers in vaccine acceptance. So what uh, training should contain? contain? And maybe uh, to reinforce the self-confidence of healthcare workers, it's uh, very important to reinforce the knowledge about immunization to they feel very confident to be able to dialogue about immunization with their patients. But uh, a main problem is how to communicate with the patient and specifically with the hesitant patients. And maybe we could have a reflection about this a uh, citation of a, a Dutch philosopher in you know, the 17th century, uh, maybe you know Spinoza, and uh, what he tells us, he tells us that to, uh, when you have a feeling or a belief, uh, only a feeling or a belief can be thwarted or suppressed is only by a stronger feeling than the one to thwart. So uh, it's very important the way how we could do that because it's very difficult when you face with some, so, someone who have a very strong feeling of something to reemplace this feeling on how could we do that. And uh, maybe uh, with a trustful relationship, we will be able to put this stronger feeling in the mind of your patient of, uh, with a, a collaboration. For the example, I gave you yesterday of this anti-vax mother. Only uh, with a strong, trustful relationships, I will be able to put in his mind new findings to change his mind and to move to the vaccination. And we should have the legitimacy to obtain the legitimacy of the patients to do that. And maybe it's an important way in our training for healthcare workers to help them to, to do that. So, uh, just a few examples of uh, what we are doing with the training of the counselor in the, the program in Quebec. Uh, we're going to two parts, three parts in learning training. And uh, the first part is the introduction of the integration of motivational interviewing techniques in the immunization context. And after, we have a part of the knowledge about immunization and we adapt this knowledge in uh, parental language on how to translate the scientific language in parental language. And it's very important to be well understood by the patient. And uh, we integrate in this part the concepts of EMI in the, in the knowledge part uh, about immunization. And finally, there is a training with the motivational interviewing approach applied to the immunization context and with uh, uh, specifically to try to adapt motivated interviewing according to the level of vaccine hesitancy of the patients. And so there is three parts of this training with low level of vaccine hesitancy, intermediate level or high level of vaccine hesitancy. And finally, the last idea I want to share you is it's possible, and we have a discussion with Angus uh, yesterday of sharing experience because lots of us uh, are invent the wheel in our, our, our lab and maybe we could share our experience of uh, building uh, a training in vaccine acceptance. And sure we have lots of ideas, lots of good ideas, and maybe it could be a good place to share all this experience.